Hi, my name is Nick Martin. I'm the Director of Managed Services here at Main Street IT Solutions. Today, I'm gonna to be providing you with a tiny little tech tip, how to share your OneDrive files properly and securely. One of the easiest ways to share OneDrive files is through the web browser. Now we can do that locally too, and we'll look at that here in a bit. But what I've done is I pulled open my Microsoft 365 uh, subscription page here, and it's just basically our home page. So it's just your normal content where you can access all your apps. I wanna click the three uh, dot app launcher up here, and then we'll come over to OneDrive where I've set up my very important folder called test. And within this very important folder called test, there is a very important spreadsheet that I've created. The very important spreadsheet has, of course, nothing in it, but but it gives a great example of how you can share uh, with someone else. So we're going to share out this spreadsheet here. We're going to click the three dots, click share, and it's going to bring up a prompt for a couple options here. At this point, here's where you're going to want to take your time setting up the share properly. Uh, one of the very basic settings here is uh, clicking this top one here. We, we can simply hand out a free link that anyone can access. Uh, we can share specifically with people in my organization. Uh, we can set up with uh, people with existing access. This is a pretty specific, probably not uh, too common of a scenario, or you can set it out to very specific people. I'm going to go ahead and actually share with anyone. Like I think it's the most commonly used uh, setting here. Uh, there's a ch optional checkbox here to allow editing. That's probably the purpose of collaborating. So you perhaps you want to leave that set. One thing here, and it's probably the most important feature if, uh, that I can recommend is setting an expiration date. So I highly recommend over the course of the uh, collaboration that you would want with that person is setting the expiration date. So for example, you know this is going to be a very heavily used uh, collaboration spreadsheet for the next, I don't know, two weeks. Set it out a month. Let's go ahead and set it out a month and it expires a month away from, uh, from now. And if it's also confidential that it holds a lot of very sensitive data, you're going to want to set a password to this and provide this password not through email. You're gonna to wanna to call the person, you're gonna to wanna to text the person, provide a different medium to, to give that password away. One of the last options you're gonna see here is the block download, but it's grayed out. Well, that's because we have the allow editing feature actually checked, so we can't really block the download there. But if we uncheck that box, we can prevent this share from allowing the person to download it. It's simply just a readable selection. They can open up the spreadsheet, they can view it, but they can't edit it and they cannot download it. So it becomes a pretty handy feature if it's more, you're, you're sending out information. You want people to view this, but you don't necessarily want them to modify it. Kind of important setting. All right, now that we have all, all of our settings correct, we're gonna go ahead and click apply. And here we can either copy a link where we can send it in our own customized email, or we could just send out the automated email. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually send it to our support. And you can see here, this has a little calendar here annotating that it does indeed expire on 527. And if we wanna type an optional message, so we could just, we'll just say hello. And then we'll go ahead and send it off. All right, uh, getting to the local app on OneDrive, I'm gonna open up File Explorer, my OneDrive. And here we got our test folder here, so we'll let's go into here. And once we open up our test for folder, we'll see our very important spreadsheet. So we'll go ahead and right click this. And then here under our OneDrive options, we're gonna go ahead and select share. Now this screen should look pretty familiar to you. Um, what we have here is pretty much the same kind of settings. So we're gonna share anyone with the link. We'll set the expiration date out, oh, let's just say about two weeks from now. Uh, we won't set a password, click apply. And then we'll go ahead and type in uh, the, that person we wanna share it with. So we're gonna go ahead and type support. And uh, there we can send off the same exact message as we did in the web browser. I just want to take a moment to, uh, to, to show you what it looks like when you actually receive this shared email, uh, this uh, shared link. And you can see here, Nick Martin shared a file with you, our friendly message of hello, and obviously our very important spreadsheet, which we can go ahead and open up here. And there we have it. Uh, an easy way to share and collaborate with another company with uh, perhaps another employee and, and a way to keep those files secure, uh, even with cloud collaboration. And there you have it. That's how you share a file uh, with a little extra security behind it. That way we can keep all those settings and, and secure, proper security best practices in place here. I'll be back for more OneDrive tips here in the month of May and uh, stay tuned.